years ago, I guess it was two years ago now, when I was in the hospital in ICU, I couldn't breathe, I was uncomfortable, everything was going crazy, fluid in both lungs, fluid around my heart. I had never been in the hospital in my life, and I was as big as a whale. And I didn't know I, my whole body was inundated with fluid. I was literally drowning. But the whole time, I was thanking God. The Lord enabled me to have the strength to get in the shower before the paramedics came. The Lord enabled me to get to the right hospital, even though it wasn't the one I thought I was supposed to go to. The first thing I prayed was, Lord, get me to the right place with the right staff. Pick my staff for me so that they won't make any mistakes on me. Protect me in every way. Keep me at peace. I wasn't afraid. I went by myself. I had never been in a hospital in my life, not, to, not for me. And I had to go to ICU. Now, I want to share this with you. The whole time I could see God's hand, I could see God taking care of me. And let me tell you, I know there are people that might go. I, when I was in the emergency room before they took me to ICU, there was a woman there that did nothing but complain the whole time. She complained. She cussed. She gave the staff members all kind of unholy hell. Yes, she did. And I couldn't believe, and you could see the heaviness that was on them as they tried to serve this ungrateful, complaining woman that would not stop attacking them verbally. So what I noticed was when the whole time I was thanking God, I was talking to God, I was thinking to God, everything I was doing was to God, because I knew no matter who was around me, God was the ultimate one handling everything and everybody. So the thing I noticed was I was kept, God kept me in perfect peace, in perfect peace. And that's the thing that was so beautiful for me was to know that God was taking such good care of me, to know that I was safe in his arms. I felt so, so relaxed, even though in spite of the physical challenge, I knew God didn't have me there to punish me. I knew God didn't have me there to correct me. I knew God didn't have me there uh because he forgot about me? No. He was preparing me for when he was ready to use me. But there's a song that says God has another plan. And it starts out with out of the fire to the flames of another trial. When you think that your heart has had all it can take and nothing is there left to break, in the heat of the fire, he will pull you through. When you don't understand it, he is tried and true. No matter the problem, God has an answer for you. So when the rain falls hard and the storm winds blow in his field, you can never blow over. Trouble over your head or nothing over your head, trouble under your feet. And you find yourself running for cover. God has another plan. And I knew that that applied to me. Because I knew, and it applies to you no matter what you're going through right now. Find a way to be grateful. Not not try to fight the tendency to murmur and complain. Sometimes we get so used to adults or authority figures abandoning us or lying and saying they're going to get, do this for us and that for us and it's nothing but empty promises that they never come through. And we live a life of disappointment, so we expect the same from God. No. 
thank him, praise him, give him the sacrifice of praise, which means when you'd rather complain, make your mouth say good things about God anyway, because that's the truth. Satan will try to use your mouth to belittle God, to complain against him, to lie on him. But let me tell you, the more you praise God, the more you thank him, the more you do follow that attitude of gratitude, the easier your trial will be on you. I mean, it's been two years, and even though I was diagnosed with congestive heart failure, I am no longer diagnosed with it. Even though I was 300 pounds full of fluids, I have lost 70 even though I, I couldn't sit one minute without my heart going bumpity bump all over my chest and that felt rotten for almost a year. It's beating at a regular pace now. You have to see the blessing in the trial. You have to see the light in the darkness. And you have to change your focus. You're either going to focus on the darkness, which is going to make it look even darker. You're going to focus on the trial, which is going to make it look insurmountable. Or you're going to focus on God, focus on glory. You can't do this on your own. Focus on glory and keep singing songs. Know that in him, You're on top of the world, even when Satan tries to make you feel like you're at the bottom of the barrel. No, baby, you're still on the winning side with God. God bless you. I hope that encourages you. No matter what you are going through, there is something going on in your life that's good. There is something, no matter what I went through, I knew God was with me. No matter what I went through, I wasn't inundated with pain. I was in my right mind. No matter what I went through, God kept reassuring me every step of the way. Be encouraged. God is with you. He will not leave you. He will not forsake you. And he does not abandon you. 